Hello, this is Sonia from my Happy Space. Welcome back at my channel. Today, I'm going to do an Aloe Roots entry. And I must say, the printables this month, Aloe knocked it out of the park. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this um, color scheme. And it's all about your identity and Christ. I am redeemed. I am an heir. And the other ones, I am loved. So as you can see, the color scheme is more or less the same. I love this soft browns and pastels and pinks and green. It's absolutely a gorgeous color palette. So yeah, it's beautiful. So this one, I couldn't resist to use because this just really spoke to me. This is the pattern papers that goes with some of the printables. And I love the patterns, the leaves that goes with this one. I am redeemed. And then there is another one with sort of soft little pink art marks. I just, um, this is Romans um, 3 verse 23 we're going to look at. And this one go with I am loved. And it's got this soft art marks. And I love that wasi tape. So I am going to see what I'm going to use out of these. But I'm definitely going to concentrate more on the one I'm redeemed. I just love this lady with the roses. And as I said, I'm, I'm going to journal in Romans 3 verse 23 and 24 and 25. So let me put you on fast forward and then we put this together. So I've decided to use the pattern papers as a backing and I want to layer them on top of each other. I couldn't decide which pattern paper to use, so I wanted to use them both. So I'm just using this ruler, which it's, it's probably not a ruler that's meant to tear and have this organic look, but that's the only one I can find here in South Africa. So I'm just using it and I'm just uh, pulling the paper um, down so it can have this rough edges. It's just a nice, nice texture. I like that. It's to me, it looks nicer than just cutting the paper straight. There's a time and place for that also, but I just wanted to bring a little bit of texture on this page. And um, yeah, I'm going to put it on top of each other. And yeah, it's beautiful. I love it, as I said, the color combinations. So as I said, we are looking in Romans um, 3 verse 23. And this is this very well, very well known verse, which it says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So I just want to stop there first. I am a great believer that people need to know what they are, need to be saved from. It's, there's no good you say to them, Oh, Jesus died for your sins on the cross, and now you're saved. You're going to go to heaven. Until people people don't have the gravity of their sin, they will not understand that they need a redeemer and they will not understand that they're a sinner and need forgiveness because they cannot face a holy God. So in the meantime, you've seen me put the lady on top of there and I'm going to put a doily, as always, um, to at the back because I thought it would nicely frame it. It almost would look like there's a, a little bit more of an outburst of these flowers. And I'm using my um, second last um, salmon pink doily on there as I said to you in the previous video I just have a two and a half left now I just have one and a half left so I'm going to see if I can go to the shop soon I don't have much hope that they're going to find it but or that they're going to get it but you can always live in hope I'm just showing you there's a small little picture on the printable that can show you more or less the idea of what you you can do with these flowers so obviously you can do it as you want I started following the pattern and then I just thought now I'm just going to do my own thing but I think however you put it on there, it will look nice. It doesn't really matter. It's just so much fun. And I love, love, love this effect. It's probably one of my favorite printables of Alarut so far. So just to get back to the verse, as I said, I'm a great believer that you first need to understand what you are redeemed from. So it says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Jesus Christ. So obviously if you realize you are a sinner and you've got this problem, you cannot face a holy God, that will make you want to draw closer to the Lord. You understand that you need a redeemer, you need redemption. Otherwise you will not, I don't, I think you will, might be sort of quote to quote become a Christian. Uh, God might take you on a, on a journey and you might come later to real, realization what that you are a sinner and then you need a for forgiveness. But I truly think that that if we don't understand our sin in front of a holy God, we will never be thankful for our salvation. We will never be thankful for the cross and we will 
we will just yeah it's it's just so important to see what we are saved from and yeah we all have sinned nobody is perfect and that's a whole point because if we can reach or attain salvation by ourselves there is no need for a salvation a savior so that's why it's so important even you can be the best and the kindest person but if you think you can maintain or attain salvation by yourself then you are deceiving yourself as paul says here and um, you think you can do it, but you cannot. Even if you l- live the best life ever, even if you just have one sin in your whole life, because God is pure and holy, He cannot face um sin. And it's almost like if you've got a drop of water, or if you've got a, a bowl of water, and you put one drop of arsenic in there. It's contaminated. It cannot be dragged. It needs to be thrown away. The same, you can live the best life ever. But if you have one sin, it's not good enough to face a holy God. And that's why you need redemption. That's why you'll never be good enough to reach salvation by yourself. And it's such a profound, simple message and such good news of the gospel that there is hope. And yeah, I can never get tired of that message. I'm a constantly in awe of it that that I'm a savior, uh, that I'm a sinner, and there is a savior for me, and I'm redeemed. So yeah, I hope you inspired. I hope you say thank you, a, a prayer to the Lord for your redemption and the fact that He died for your sins on the cross. So in the meantime, you've seen me playing a little bit with that word. I'm redeemed. I've decided to cut it up to make it a bit shorter, so I can have space to put that card, the brown card, in with the verse. I was debating shall I put it in, but I I really felt I wanted to put it in there, and I've, I'm glad I did it at the end. So I'm just looking for some washi tape um to sort of put my little tabby there at the top it is part of the printable and um, I love this brown washi tape it's not very good quality I must say I struggled to get it stuck I actually later just stapled um, my uh, my tab there at the top because after the camera went off it all went loose so I just stapled it in um, so yeah I'm just securing it there with my washi tape so yeah, um, as I said, go and check out these printables in Ella shop. Um, as I said, it is absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. You can make an entry for all the qualities we have, that you are heir, that you are loved, that you are redeemed. So uh, yeah, I hope you like it. And I will link all the things down below for you. Um, yeah, I really so appreciate it that you take the time to watch my videos. I, I don't take it for granted. I know time is very, very precious. I, I appreciate your, your support and your kind words you give me. Um, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you uh, please remember to like this video, that will help me a lot. And yeah, have a fantastic day. Bye bye.